Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. Yeah, well, we know this is a twin flame reading. So yeah, you have met your twin flame. And even though it will be challenging, it can create a profound and life altering sense of wholeness. So whatever is happening right now, Spirit says, is part of the plan. The universe has brought you two together. Trust the journey, even if you don't quite understand it yet. We do have divine, mis divine mission here. So it says your union will impact the world in some large scale that will help heal many on this planet through some sort of spiritual service. All right. So what is passing soulmate? Married. Oh, so somebody is still committed or married to a passing soulmate. Dating someone who's married may entail many restrictions. And even more difficult could be living with the bitter truth that you are sharing them. So your person is currently with somebody else, like attached to another person, married to another person. Like they're in another commitment or they're still married. They're still attached to another person. Who says some soulmates don't last forever. However, the, this will te they will teach you and leave you forever changed. Don't try to hold on to them once it's over. Huh. So your twin is married. Or tell me more about passing soulmate and married. It could have been somebody that they were married to. We have fifth dimension. The divine masculine energy is responding to the divine feminine energy and carrying out intuitive messages, soul level connection. Your twin flame could be stuck in ego that is keeping them unaware of who they really are as a soul. This mask could be due to fears. Hmm. It says your twin will feel safer being friends first before getting intimate. Learn to enjoy the present moment and discover your playful side. So your twin is still in this energy of not wanting to be vulnerable with you. You're constantly fighting and it feels like a never ending, like they are never ending. Repeating these patterns mean that you have not learned the karmic lessons. Give me a few more. So we have fifth dimension here. There's like a karmic soulmate in the mix on somebody's end. We have intensity here. The intensity of this connection is very strong, deep, and intense. It's so overwhelming you may run from it. We have rejection and wounds, yeah. They have rejection fears or wounds that are so great. They're not ready, willing, or able to face them right now. Re reason the union will flourish or fail. So what is the right timing? So both of your souls have evolved and awakened to this connection that, that, that could last a lifetime. Your hard work is being rewarded. So spirit says in divine timing, there's some type of like, yeah, romance, open yourself up to love. It's your time to receive, stay open to st stay open-minded during this time and allow the flow of love to heal you. Yeah. This is somebody you're going to end up coming back together with, but, it, but it's going to happen in the right timing. Both of you have learned a lot about yourselves and understand the potential of your connection. This reunion will be physical in nature. See, somebody has, yeah, addicted to toxicity. Toxic relationships are giving, give you an opportunity to overcome unresolved pain. Take this time to heal, grow, and become self-aware. See, this for you, you may end up with somebody for a while, or they may end up with somebody else for a while. All right. Or I don't know, guys. What does married have to do with my collective? Married and passing fully? Mirroring. So some of you guys, yeah, your twin flame is re reflecting back the truth. This can cause a feeling of vulnerability, which can trigger one or both twins to run from the to the from the relationship. No respect. There are times when you feel disrespected, and that doesn't have to be a deal breaker. But if it's a repeating pattern, perhaps it's time to walk away. Huh? Crossroads. Somebody is at a crossroads about whether or not they want to walk away from something, or if they want to trust in divine timing. Or somebody is like conflicted about whether or not they want to walk away from a situation. But Spirit is saying that, but there is this like unexplainable connection here. But Spirit, yeah, I definitely see someone is contemplating walking away from this. I don't really see, let's see, what is, um, tell me more about what's going on here. So we have strength, taming uh, emotions, overcoming obstacles. The Leo energy, we have three of cups. See, there's some, there's a third party in the mix. Tell me more. Can't, can I be trusted? Mm. Tell me more. Frozen. Hard to let go. Resi so you're dealing with somebody here that's like, for some reason, resisting letting go of something else. For we, it's, you know, some people are like, the, the third party doesn't have to be another person. This is another person for whoever's reading this is. Because we have married here. So they're either committed to another person or it's like you're this is a third party situation you were sharing this person with somebody else whether they were married committed whatever they had going on there was another person in the mix yeah they've been making some yeah clarify strength 
We have eight of cups. So somebody's working up the strength to walk away from something here, a commitment or something long term, a, a, a relationship. Tell me about the three of cups. It's like this person wants to take things very slow with you. When you met this person, they could have been married or you could have been married or something like that. But taking things slow, patient, stable love. Yeah, they kind of want to just be friends first or something. Tell you how it cannot be trusted. Judgment. Somebody wants another chance but or to renew things with you. But Spirit says you cannot trust this person. This person knows you have a soft spot for them. Tell me about Frozen. Page of Wands. Somebody inter and see, somebody is conflicted. It's like you may be having a hard time letting or somebody's about to reach out to you and it's going to leave you very conflicted. Like you're not going to know what to do. What is Frozen? See, Four of Wands. What's this have to do with my collective? The Five of Wands. So you guys are fighting because this person is still married. Like it's still, there's a lot of indication of that here. This person is still married or in some type of commitment or living situation or some type of foundation in their life that they are resisting letting go of. And it's causing conflict between the two of you. So I see, what is this communication? The Page of Wands and somebody doesn't know if they want to like step into like, they want to stay in this toxic shit. Sometimes it, it may seem like this person wants you, and then other times you, it doesn't seem that way anymore. Anything else before I move on and ask what I was going to ask? You have the Ace of Wands. What about that? The Star. There's a new beginning on the horizon here. The Three of Wands. You guys are manifesting this. Something's about to move to the next level. The King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. The Two of Wands. There's this Earth sign that doesn't know what they want to do if they want to move things to the next level with you. Or what? what is the other option? The Ten of Swords, they feel like by they were they feel like this ending that would have to occur is going to be very painful or it's going to be a betrayal of some sort. Hmm. What is the energy around this marriage? That's what I don't understand. What is this marriage? What is this marriage? Forbidden differences, family and friends don't approve. Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. What is this other situation? Divine timing. Patience is needed. What's going on in that situation? Yeah. Some. What about the lovers? D the devil. See, there's some type of connection. A very toxic connection in the mix. Five of Swords. Yeah, mind games. Betrayal. Toxic love. What about that? The Emperor. What about the Emperor? The two of swords. Why is this person conflicted about whether or not they want to stay in this toxic relationship or be be happy with you? Yeah, it's like. Let's see, let's see. Um, hmm. It could be for some of you, somebody that they're living with. I don't know. Let's see. What are the factors here? What is keeping this twin flame union from happening? Give me more clarity on that, Spirit. What is keeping keeping? What is keeping this union from coming for coming to fruition? See the devil again. Capricorn energy. Obsession, addiction, poor habits, codependency. Tell me more about it unfoldment though we have spiritual awakening breaking free so somebody is breaking free from something something toxic here connecting more with their higher self going through a spiritual awakening yeah leading to a blessed union meant to be together love that transformed divine mission together that keeps coming through we have solar eclipse which we're about to have that something is happening around that solar eclipse guys which is on october 14th I'm telling you it keeps coming out Unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes apart. In what way? What can they expect to happen around this solar eclipse? We have social circles. So it says going out and having fun with friends, networking, meeting new people. Okay, tell me more. Karmic ties, karmic relationship, karmic situation, debt not for you. Somebody has somebody in their circle, whether it's a, a romantic person, whatever it is, that, what about it? Social circle, karmic ties. She's a unicorn, and we have fanned out. 
somebody may not like that you're meeting. They think you've met somebody new or you're, I don't know. We're going to get, this is not very clear yet. One of a kind, hard to find, irreplaceable. So if somebody is out there networking and trying to meet new people, and I won't even say networking, someone's trying to get out there and like maybe meet somebody here, but they're realizing that you, they're, they're realizing or they're having a change of heart that they need to, you're the one that they should be vulnerable with or that they're going to have to get rid of these limits and these restrictions and be available for you because you, they're, they're not going to be able to find another you or something like that. That's what the, somebody is realizing around the solar eclipse. So what is karmic ties though? Oh, left out in the cold, ready to give up emotional material loss, scarcity mindset. Okay. The unexpected surprise. What is this unexpected? Somebody's unexpectedly leaving somebody out in the cold. Yeah, they're going to be breaking somebody's heart here. Somebody's getting their heart broken. A karmic. Either they're unexpectedly getting left out in the cold by a karmic or a karmic is about to get their heart broken because this person is making a decision or something here. What is social circle? Roll the dice and what? The hand of fate. What is about social circle? The hand of fate closed off. What's that do with my collective? The moon, fears and insecurity, things are not as they seem. What is hidden here? Lack of action. It may seem like nobody's taking any action, but that's not the case. Yeah. What is what is closed off? Yeah, the return. So what's happening here is that you guys may feel like somebody is just acting like they're not interested in you. They're not taking any action towards you. They're not really putting any effort in, or that's how it seems. But somebody is about to take a risk here and do something. Yeah, forces beyond your control, faded events. The, somebody is about to return. Somebody that was very guarded and emotionally closed off. Or maybe it's, what does closed off mean for my collective? Yeah, renewed enthusiasm. What's mean for this person? Complexities. Yeah, what about the complexities? <laughs> Wishes granted. Somebody's about to come in and try to give you something traditional here. What is this sticky situation that's in the mix, though? There's something going on. Ghosted. Guys, I'm not, I'm not going to, this person is about to ghost somebody. I'm telling you. Well, I need to know what the nature of that relationship was. Because why we have married here? I know this person isn't ghosting their husband or their wife for you. What? Who are they ghosting? What is ghosted? Sacred cycles. Let go of the old. Honor the cycle you were in. What goes around comes around. Maybe this somebody. This somebody's getting what they deserve here. Either see this person who is usually the heartbreaker or whatever. They're about to get their heart broken, or they're about to break somebody's heart. What is? How are they going to feel? Whatever this ghosting situation is, how is this person going to feel about that? Two possibilities. Yeah, and then what? Sacrifice. They're giving up something. And what's that mean for my collective? See, somebody is so infatuated with, they're consumed by the thoughts and the feelings and emotions of for you. Yeah. What about the world? Yeah, they feel like they want you there. You're like the goal for this person. You're like in game for this person. Temptation. Yeah. So what are they going to do for my collective? The battlefield. What about the battlefield? Prophecy. Guys, I don't know what this person had freaking going on. I, I can see that they've kept you waiting for a long time, right? They've they've put you, they've tried to put you on the back burner. They've this has been long and drawn out, right? This person, I'm seeing indication that this person was married or committed to somebody else. Not only were they ma possibly married or committed to another person, they had more than one option. They're, they weren't just with that person. This person had more than one interest. It wasn't just you and it wasn't just that other person. Everybody's scenario is going to be a little bit different, but this person had options, okay? They had more than just one person. And I feel like this person felt like they were going to have to get their shit together to be with you. They knew that they were going to have to give up these options or these temptations or whatever this was to be able to give you a proper offering. They're about to do it, but they're ghosting somebody. Who are they ghosting? They're what? What? They're choosing you, but, or maybe this is them seeing you as, I don't know. Who are they? Who is getting ghosted here? 
Maybe you guys are ghosting this. What is ghosting me for my collective? Soul family? Who's getting ghosted? I need to know. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to get to narrow this down. Somebody is getting ghosted. I need to get clarity around what this what what's the, the circumstances around this. I can't decipher at the moment if it's you or if it's the third party or if it's this person or oh shit guys, hold on. Just drop the whole damn deck. Ugh. Okay. What is all right? I'm gonna use a different deck because this is not giving me the answers I want. Okay, so All right, so give me more clarity around whatever this ghosting situation is that's coming through. They will return. So I don't know if this person ghosted you or they kind of made it seem like they weren't interested in you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The spirit is saying things are not as they seem and you're gonna realize that around this solar eclipse. This person may have ghosted you. They may have acted like they weren't interested or like they didn't want you, like they didn't have feelings for you, something like that. Spirit is saying that if somebody did, that's not the truth of the situation. This person is only looking at this as temporary. Like for them, this is not over and they're going to return with what intentions? Making the effort, I told you. But I feel like, so if you thought somebody was over you or they didn't want you, that's not the truth of the situation. Things are not as they seem. Working things out, doing the work. Tell me more. Let's do a couple more of these. Knows your worth. Treating you right values you. So this person's coming back correct. Oh. Well, I spoke too soon, y'all. Can't be trusted. Hidden agenda, lies, selfish intentions. What does this person want? Control. Okay. This person thinks you're getting out there again, guys. This is that energy. They're coming in to try to maintain some type of control over you. They're going to return. They could have ghosted you, and now they're going to come back. For, but you need to know that, guys, This per, in this person's eyes, it's never been over. This person thinks that they can come in and out when they want to. So they ghosted you, but they're about to come in and, like, take some type of action towards you or put some amount of effort in because... And they're going to come in and try to tell you like they want to they want to do right by you. But Spirit is saying they're coming in to try to control you or to control the situation. Yeah. What is only wants you? Focus on you. Nobody compares. Genuine apology. No contact. Yeah. In separation. Not talking. Long break. It's beyond repair. Oof. Trying to score. Mm -mm. Not on the same page. What's it's beyond repair? Single and available. Devoted to you. What? Thinking of you. What is it's beyond repair? Twin flame love. It's beyond repair. Bad habits. I don't know, guys. What's beyond it's beyond repair, say? Yeah, broken foundation. Something has been messed, like the trust has been broken between you and this person. Like it's just not the same. Yeah, it's like, they. I do feel like you guys can't trust, not in seeing different views. Not unrelated, ready for love. I don't know, guys. Something may be happening here where you guys are going to have a hard time opening up to somebody. I do see them coming back to you after a period of separation and you guys not trusting this person. Yeah, like... They're going to maybe come in and want to devote themselves to you, but, and be ready for this. And I feel like because of the bro the foundation is broken, you guys may be feeling like you can't forgive this person or you just can never let them back in or you can never trust them. Yeah. What about bad? You don't, I feel like you don't believe in this person's ability to change. Tell me about no, no change. 
thoughts of marriage. No, somebody is literally thinking about that they want to marry you, but why is that? Love gates are open. Sees a future with you. Commitment, manifesting love, love coming soon. Worth waiting for. I'm telling you, something is coming in for you. But why was that one married card coming out, though? Talking about dealing with sharing. What are you, who are you sharing this person with? Work and finances, love bombing. What is that? Tricky situation. See, there's another situation in the mix. Boundary check. Making it official. New beginning. They have to set boundaries with somebody. Yeah, it could be somebody that they work with or it's somebody that they have, like they share finances with, somebody that they, yeah, there is a third party. They got they have to change their life here to be with you, to be compatible with you, to, for things to be mutual. Hmm. It's something to do with money. Of course, it's always money and like a living situation. It's a, it's a situationship complicated, love bombing. Yeah, over the top, boundary check. Enforce boundaries, protect yourself, making it official, get serious, no games. There is another, there's a third party situation in the mix. Whether they're married or not, there is another person in the mix. And they're with, it's something to do with money. It's a, it's a messy situation. Um, let me get a few of these. And then I am going to take it over to the extended reading. Because we're going to be taking a deeper look to see what it is that they've gotten themselves entangled in. Because that's what it looks like. It's an entanglement that they need to get... But what I'm seeing here is that they're getting that situation handled. Like, it may seem like this person doesn't want you right now, but I feel like something is happening. Someone's having a change of heart. Even if it doesn't happen around this solar eclipse we're about to have, have somebody is having a change of heart. Or there's going to be some really unexpected changes or some type of divine intervention that shifts this situation. Whatever was blocked or restricting this, that's going to be cleared. If this person was having an issue with vulnerability, that's going to be changing. If this person wasn't available, they're going to be available. Somebody could be getting single around this eclipse that's leading them to, to, to them being available to be in a relationship with you. What is going on here? See, this person feels they want you to get, the two of you to get married. I never understood what people meant when the, they used the term power couple. However, since meeting you, I realized how much positive change we can create together. Heavy energy here of the two of you having a divine mention together being able to create a lot of change together yeah we have patience that keeps coming out i just want you to know how much i miss you and how much you mean to me it's been difficult moving on without you but i'm waiting on the perfect time to return and i am trusting in the process distance so either there's physical distance or there's just you and this person are not talking there's distance between the two of you Separated by states, countries, continents, and oceans could have met in, an un, un, in unusual circumstances while traveling or in an airport or in a train station. Hmm. We have, I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I told you. I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. So we have Leo energy here. We have, I'm trying to be patient. I want you to return and I want to return to you. Being apart from you feels like an eternity. Triggered. What is triggered? False flame. See, what is this? They're being in some type of turmoil with this other person that they're trying to get handled here. People and places remind them of you. Panic, feel overwhelmed, cry, act out, withdraw, or react defensively. Strong, uncomfortable emotional reaction to something that wouldn't ordinarily cause that response. Some this this um false flame or this karmic has triggered your person in some way, caused you emotional distress and creates conflicts. You are unsure of their feelings towards you, and you give more than they do. They do not help you grow, and you feel uncomfortable around them. So, what does that have to do with anything? This false flame that's in the mix, maybe leaning towards yes, what? See, ghosted. See, I'm sorry I had to run, but I couldn't tell you how I felt because I don't even know how I feel. It was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself. What is it? What's this ghosted energy that keeps coming through? What is this ghosted energy? Sagittarius, ghosted, regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision, feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened, sees you happy well, they're, they are miserable and can't move on. Gluttonous gossip, unable to control and has an overwhelming need to share false or misleading info, overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true. Hmm. Springtime is here. What about spring telepathic? What is spring on the back of the deck for? 
I know I am settling if I'm not with you, but I feel I am stuck because I'm afraid of change. I'm used to what I have, even if it's not enough for me. I'm working on feeling deserving of you. Yeah, self-love, soulmate. This person, somebody got ghosted, guys. I don't know when it happened. They ghosted you for somebody else. Like, or they, yeah, they left you. They walked, they didn't know how to tell you. Why did, I don't know, guys. What is up with this? Give me one more card on whoever this false flame is. Some, yeah, inner child healing. Going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others, especially by our caregivers. We have Taurus and we have tumultuous lives. Gets into trouble in various ways, plagued by depression and addictions, an unstable childhood, very difficult time loving themselves and others. So what does that have to do? Yes, absolutely. They knew who you were. The moment I laid eyes on you, I knew I, I can't explain how I felt, but I knew I was meant to find you. Yeah, they're still trying to deny these feelings that they have for you. Yeah, they're acting like they don't care, but that's not the case. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what the nature of that other relationship is. The false flame? See, family ties. Takes each other for granted. Stops learning from... It's like somebody that they were supposed to be with for a while, but the, the relationship has served its purpose, but there, somebody's not letting go. Like, it was a karmic. Like, that's what karmics are for, guys. Like, they come into your, like, there's somebody that you teach each other lessons, and then once the lesson has been taught, you know, you go your separate wa separate ways. But it's like somebody is still holding on to somebody that they should have let go of. Like, they, that it's time to let go of? That it's time to let go of? That it's